Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one, and welcome back to Professor Layden. And the, the box that's not really so diabolical, it just gets you high. Mm-hmm. Last time, we began our cleanup. We have finished off the diary, the camera, and uh, Big Cheese, you know, working out. We've also made all of the tea. The only minigame thing left we have to do is serve all the tea. And something I discovered last time, sometimes when you serve tea to someone, uh, they then get a puzzle. So I also have to do that, because there's still a few more puzzles left, there's not just the tea left. So, I saw that Ray has a puzzle now. You two must have nerves of steel to come all the way out here. That doesn't mean I won't test what you're made of. Try this puzzle. Alright, different suits. Those kind of suits, okay. Lower 16 cards. There are four cards from each suit. Diamonds, clubs, spades, and hearts. The cards are arranged in a 4x4 grid, and four cards have already been put down. Arrange the remaining cards so that each vertical column, horizontal row, and diagonal line of four cards contains one card from each suit. Okay. Shouldn't be too bad. Should not be too bad. Alright, well I can already see here we have a diamond and heart in this one. And you got the spade right here. So, this can only be a club and this can only be a spade. So there's that already. Alright. And since uh, these two are right here, this can only be a diamond or a... Well, no, this can only be a diamond, because there is a club right here. So there's that. Okay. Yeah, these ones aren't hard. They just take a little bit of, um, of uh, you know, working it out. Okay, so now... This has to be a heart or a club. No, it has to be... It has to be a club because the heart goes there. And then this is a spade. Alright. So then that means this is a heart and this is a diamond. Okay. So, this has to be either a heart or a spade, but there's already a heart here, so it has to be a spade, which means this is a heart, which means this is a club, which means this is a diamond. Okay, that should be everything. Let's see if I didn't make any mistakes. Splugwinkins! Huh. Wonderful. I love it when that happens. All right. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Now, let's go back over here. And uh, let's see if any of them have puzzles. I don't think they do, but let me just uh, go ahead and check. Yeah, we, uh, we're, we're fine on that front now. Okay. Now, there's nothing over here. I don't know why this area exists. There's literally nothing here. So, let's just go back over here. Um, do you have something? No. Did I serve tea to you? I don't think I did. I don't think I served a tea to you, either. So, let me do that. Alright, here we are. And let's hope that they both stay thirsty and I don't have to reload again. Is somebody there? I could use a little help. Are you all right there, madam? Your legs are shaking. My circulation isn't so good, so I get chills really easily. 
When it gets bad like this, my legs wobble so much, I feel like I'm standing on ice. That sounds terrible. Indeed it does. Might we offer you, um, some nice tea? Fix circulation. Huh. Oh, well, there you go. Get you some fruit remedy. Tasty. Thanks a bunch, you two. Now I'm toasty to the tips of my toes. Glad to see it helped. Alright. Cramp from the shivering. Something's moving behind your shoulder over there. I don't see anything back there. It's probably just a trick of the light. Hmm. Hmm. That was... That was weird. Oh god damn it. Alright. Alright. So... For Noris. Did you see that? See what? The ghost, of course. One just floated by all oogity boogity I swear. Oh, yeah? Oogity boogity-ing. Oh, Don, I must have missed it. That's a 12th time today he's flown by. Golly, this must be the spot for ghost watching. I've been here for hours. It's all just so fascinating. I'm totally captivated. I'm sure it's all very exciting. Would you care to have a cup of tea? A uh, sore throat. Mysterious one. Sweet and unusual. Sweet, mild, and spicy. Okay. <laughs> Well, that says mysterious right there. Sweet, mild, and spicy, so there you go. Dream spice. Scrumptious. Hey, there really is something a little mysterious about the way this tea tastes. Good job. I'm glad you liked it. A lot of ghost watching spots, no. No, thank you. Now then, since we have served them both, do either of them have a new puzzle? It seems like no. All right. Let's move on to the next area where we have uh, her. Oh, joy. All right. Are you quite all right, madam? You look a bit fatigued. Oh, there I go again, spacing out. Sorry, I'm just feeling run down and thirsty. Business is usually pretty slow at this hour. I think I should take a break or something. Your job must be very... taxing. Make sure to schedule in some time to recuperate. You need your, um... Uh, electrolytes, madam. How about some tea? Refreshing and sweet. Refreshing and sweet. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, this says sweet and quenching thirst, so I'm going to guess it's that. No, it's not. Okay. Refreshing and sweet. Hmm. Uh, refreshing sweetness. There you go. Oasis Berry. Absolutely divine. Now this, now that is nice. You sure know your way around the teapot, sugar. There may have been some new faces here in town recently, but none of them are as nice as yours. Hmm. Thank, thank you, madam. Now then, uh, over to the left is Granny's, and I'm pretty sure Granny doesn't want tea. 
yes, gr Granny does not want tea. So let's go here to the plaza. We got uh, them two. Let's go with you first. Niles. I love bell tot fruit and put it in everything. Smoothies, pie, pancakes, cake, even spaghetti. But I think I've pretty much run out of ways to eat it, and that bums me out. Well, have you tried their seeds in a tea? Oh! No trouble sleeping. All right. Bell tart seed that uh, helps you sleep. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, well, Beltart, Seed, and Mild. Kinds of beauty woes. It might it might be this. You want some radiance? Okay, it was radiance. Nice. Wow, that tea was great. Now I'm super chilled out. There you are. As long as you tell yourself nothing scary is gonna happen in the forest, it's it won't. Because that's the damn hallucinogenic gas! It's, for some reason, the power of... I, I don't even know, I don't even know. The power of speech. Uh, duh. Say, you guys is from out of town, am I right? He literally... Duh. Okay, okay, man. Okay, Derby. Can you make, if you can make me go her 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 again, I'll show you how I do it. Okay, a mood boost. Well, there's this one that is um, if you're feeling a little down, so cherry boost. Really? Excuse me? That literally says an ideal pick-me-up if you're feeling a little down. What the hell else do you want? I, I don't... I don't know what this fucker wants. Latent elixir? You bitch. Okay, for some reason it's the Bell Classic. I... Sure. Okay. That's good tea. Let's have a contented her her. Her her. Now that's this death. The classics really are the best. Most people from out of town smell like roses. I see. Now, that's actually smart as shit, because that's, yeah, if people are in the town, they're going to smell like ass. All right, solve the puzzle. What do you want, Niles? Can conundrum. Okay, one of these. A number of identical cans are hanging from a tree. While all the cans here may look empty, one is actually filled with water. See if you can find it. When deducing your answer, ignore the weight of each string and stick. Hmm. Uh, uh. Huh. Well, I actually, I think it's B. 
Yeah, I think it's B, because look, these are on the same level, but this one is slightly lower. So let's try B. This should do the trick. Okay. Great. Because I was going for to see ones that are on the same level, but a bunch of these are just on different levels. It can't be D, because that's the most obvious this one, right? The trick. Yeah. Okay. Uh, G. This should do the trick. F. This should do the trick. Is it E? Is it the one he's literally pointing to? This should do the trick. I I, I don't I don't get it. H. This should do the trick. G. This should do the trick. C. This should do the trick. A. This should do the trick. How is it A? Tell me how it's A. And there we have it. The answer is A. The biggest stick connects... Jesus. The biggest stick connects to the branch at a point left of center on the stick. Four cans hang from each side of this big stick. However, because the string connecting the stick to the tree is left of the center, the set of four cans on the left must be heavier than the four cans on the right. I have a... Huh? Okay. Okay, sure. Sure, why not? I, okay. Jeez. Just jeez. Just... Okay. Sure. Uh, we got uh, over here. We have Joni. Sweet stuff. Um, cup of tea! Capital idea, Luke. Extra sweet. This one, Oasis Berry, refreshing sweetness. Ha ha, who knew tea could be so yummy? And there we are. That wasn't that bad at all. Actually, it's pretty tasty. Thanks a million. Uh, do you have a puzzle for me? No, you do not. Bye. All right, sir, and I know I know you have one. You were like one of the first people we saw. So you better get thirsty right now so I can quench it. There it is. Unwinding bit of spice to them. Spice? Unwinding. The Cayenne Twilight. Now that's good tea. Mmm, the herbs in this tea are outstanding. Whether it be herbs or antiques, items of great quality never fail to inspire the human heart. Puzzle hidden within its pages. Ooh. Yes, here's the puzzle I was looking for. Number 65, the ancient map. Ooh. An ancient map depicts the possible spots of a vast fortune, as well as directions. Inscribe the numbers one through six in the map's blank spaces so that each set of numbers in a straight line has the same sum. You can use each number only once, and the sum must be the largest one possible. Then go to the spot marked one, for that is where you'll find your treasure. The number four has been filled in for you. Circle the area where the treasure is hidden. Okay. Each set of numbers in a straight line has the same sum. You can only use one through six, and we 
already used four. Okay. Well, let's try 10. So that's six right there. And then 10. Um, hmm. I don't think it's 10. All right, well, let's just let's just try from from this. Let's try one. So that's five, and that's definitely a no. Let's try two. So that's six. Um, that's a no. Let's try three. So that's seven. So I can do one and two. Four. Five, six, seven, three, no. Well, hang on. I can try two there and one there. So that's five, six, seven, no, because I need another two. Okay. So let's try five here. That's nine. So then let's try three and two. Eight, let's do one right there. That's three. So then... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I think, I think we've got it. By Jove, I think we've got it. Four and five make nine. Three and two make five. One, three, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. And then six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Okay. So, one has to be there. And now to test my theory. Excuse me? What do you mean? Wait. Oh, what do you mean? How is it not there? It works. It works, though. Oh, my good lord. What, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? This is nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. It, I, I, it works. I don't understand. Okay, let's just let's just start trying stuff then. And now to test my theory. Good lord. How how did I and how did I do it to wrong? Test my theory. Uh And now to test my theory. How is it there? How is it there? Huh. How is it Wonderful. there? It was the s <sighs> You could organize the numbers so that each line added up to a total of nine, but that wouldn't get you the highest possible sum. Fuck you, goddammit. <laughs> that makes me upset. Get the hell out of here. We only have a few more puzzles, though. We're at 130. So that's very exciting. All right. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, here we go. Shammy. I'm not cut out for all this running around, man. Check out how gnarly my shoulders are. This is my strumming arm, man. How am I supposed to hold my axe when I'm all tense like this? How did you not know he plays guitars, Luke? All sorts of good stuff. One sip fills you with energy and melts you out at the same time. That tea's out there. I gotta get me some of that. The magic juice? 
energizing and good for what ails you. Oh, and it's gotta be mellowfying, yeah? That's got to be the latent elixir. Okay. Well, this one works for sickness against all kinds. What about a cinder flower? It's definitely not. It is, okay. Yow! Sammy's back and ready to rock. All right, talk about an original flavor. There you are. Uh, do you have a puzzle for me? No, you do not. All right, now I know this man in the hotel and I think that lady also wants some tea, so let's... Let's go ahead and keep doing this until one of them is ready. All right, we got this one first. Something the matter. You look rather downtrodden, my good man. And you don't mind me, sir. I just get a little gleamy about how poor business has been lately. Oh, would you like a cup of tea? You are down in the dumps? You want something spicy? How about, um, right there, the Cherry Boost? And there you are. That is delicious. It's like the tea I drink as the child. Ah. Do you have a puzzle for me? No, you do not. Okay, goodbye, Krantz. Now then. Uh, there we go. Immediately right, that opal. What to do, what to do? No one to turn to. Hot cup of tea? Certain preferences. A nice strong tea with a pinch of dream fluff. Strong with dream fluff. Well, this is complex with the discerning for discerning adults. I don't remember if one of those are dream fluff. No, they weren't. Okay. That's a dream fluff. That's a dream fluff. Okay. It needs to be strong. Strong, and there's dream fluff. Okay. Cinder flower. Splendid drinkability. This tea is just the thing I needed to lift my sagging spirits. There's been some trouble in my family, and to be quite frank, it's all a bit much for me. Please continue. Just a few weeks ago, the contents of my father-in-law's will were presented by his lawyer. However, the way he demands property be divided is simply baffling. In what sense, madam? In a sense of a puzzle. Sharing the wealth. A wealthy land baron passed away, leaving his land to be divided among his sons. A section of his will is written below. I want my four boys to each receive a parcel of property containing an orchard, a house, a pond, and an open field. Everyone should receive the same amount of land. It's one of these. I like these. All right. An orchard, a house, a pond, and an open field. Well, I think we can do that right there. And then that right there. And then a little bit of that. And that looks right to me. That seems right to me. Uh, Bagoinky. This should do the trick. Perfection. Huh. Wonderful. Now we're at 4,000 picarats. Nice. Oh, happy day. There you go, lady. All right. Uh, we got over here with Rory. I don't... I, th I think he wants some tea. Yes, he does, indeed. Tall hat. He kind of looks like a bookworm. Fortune telling. I know exactly the one you want. It is... Uh... Sugar smoke. Read the leaves to see the future of your love life. There you are. 
Oh yeah, and these will do nicely. See how the tea leaves are positioned just so. They're trying to tell you something. Neat. So what do you see? Doesn't look good for the guy. What guy? Whose love life did you just peek into? A vampire lives at the edge of town. Oh. Well, one of them is dead, so. Oh. Man. Man. Why'd you have to go and do that? Okay, let's continue on. Let's go over here to the right side of town. And we got this man, this weird looking man. <clears throat> what seems to be ailing you? Every day I stand out here for hours and hours. All that standing really does a number of my knees. I should really start scheduling a mid-shift break or something. Being a doorman does sound like an exhausting job. Would you like some tea? Mild, with a hint of spice. And a dash of sweetness. I see sweet, I see mild, I see spicy. You want the dream spice. Perfection. Ready to do some karate kicks. With those legs? A tea is out of this world. Mm-hmm, yes, yes. Oh, even them two went over here. Nice. They won't visit you again, good sir. But you do have a puzzle for me, okay? The boss, he tells me to make copies of the menu. Okay. Number 69, copying the menu. The menu you see here has been folded into thirds with print on both sides, meaning in total there are six pages to it. The boss needs lots of copies, but your copy machine can copy a maximum of two adjacent menu pages at once. To save time, you want to complete a copy of the menu in as few passes through the machine as possible. What is the fewest number of passes through the machine you need to make to create a full duplicate of the menu? Well, am I stupid for thinking it's just three? Am I, am I stupid? Because there's six pages, you can do two at a just time. No, that that was the answer. Okay, the Make simplest the puzzle of all time. Today. Yes, you fold and copy, brother. You don't need to. Yeah, two adjacent. You, yeah, you said that. Yeah, there you are. Okay. Uh, does the photo man want some? I believe he does. Okay, so let me see until I get it. All right. What do you want? I've been in three rolls of film today while trying to develop and frankly it's got me irked. I've run out of coffee. Coffee? How about you get some tea? Little bitter, little sweet. Sweet and bitter? You'd like the bitter fruit. And a bit sour? Yeah, it's exactly that. That hit the spot. Mm-hmm. My goodness. The reason I've been down is because every photo I've taken recently has come out strange. Well, we we know why that's happening. Mm-hmm. Alright, there's the photo man. How many how many left? How many left? We're sitting at 20 out of 26. We got six more people to serve tea to. Okay. And I think they are all on the side. We got Hopper right here. The ingredients were all over the place. Spicy. Huh. The ingredients for that wonder tea were all over the place, but I remember it was kind of spicy. 
Well, how about the latent elixir? Indeed! Oh man, this is it! I used to play cards way into the night with my buddies while downing cup after cup of this stuff. Are you sure? Because it's named after me. That cannot be true. Old man from London came through here? An archaeologist? Yes, yes. That was my, uh, that was my mentor. He died. But his death was greatly exaggerated. Alright. What's this way? I forget what this way is. Okay, that just, yeah, that just leads us, yeah. Oh, right, we do need to go over here to the museum. Uh, we got this fake Luke right here. And I'm pretty sure them two want some as well. Grinko. What would you like, Grinko? The Horizon Museum holds the most impressive collection of writings recovered from the family. I discovered something. I read an account about a very special tea, said to commemorate the extinguishing of a great fire and the spark of a new one. Historical blend? Hmm. Could it really be possible? Need something that symbolizes the fire, an ingredient that brings happiness. What? This is a very strange... Very, very strange... thing here. Is it the Leitan Elixir again? Yes, it is! Ha-ha! Uh, now it's a legendary tea. The flavor almost moved me to tears. I aim to please, sir. Uh, I haven't gotten so emotional over a cup of tea. Here's a puzzle. Okay, okay, man. Okay, just calm, calm down. The mystery cube. The diagram that little guy is thinking about has been folded into eight tiny cubes, which in turn have been combined to build a larger cube. One of the eight small cubes has had the letter on each of its faces erased. The big cube is constructed in such a way that each small cube's face that isn't visible is pressed against the face of another cube containing the same letter. Knowing this, can you figure out what letter belongs to the face the arrow is pointing to? One letter, A through F. Uh, uh okay. Each small cube's face that isn't visible is pressed against the face of another cube containing the same letter. Okay, so it has to be E, C, D. It has to be E, C, or D. Maybe. I don't know. This one, this one's gonna be a crapshoot. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what the hell I'm looking at here. How is that an R? Is it E? And now to test my theory. Is it C? And now to test my theory. Is, is it, is it D? That's not an N. Is it D? And now to test my theory. Okay, now I'm going to guess the rest of the letters because why not? That's not an O. How is that a Q? There we go. And now to test my theory. What about B? Huh? What about B? What about B? How? What about B? I I hate this. I really I really hate this. I hope in the future games they just give us a keyboard. Because why would why would you need to do this. You just needed that, that stylus support, Nintendo, huh? That's that's what you needed? You just needed that stylus support? How am I meant to do a B? There it is, damn. And now to test my theory. 
Okay, good. It was that. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. All right, let's see here. Yeah, I was I wasn't going to get that. I was not going to get that. Well, Done. We didn't we didn't do much, Grinko, but but thank you for your kind words. All right, so we got Gregorio, the nast the, the the nasty man. I don't like him. What does he want? So very thirsty. You want to quench your thirst? You wanna you wanna quench your thirst? I know exactly what you want. You want, you want, the Clover Quencher. Sweet and smoky? Yes. Checkmate. That's a refreshing cup of tea. I'll just move my knight over to A5. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No new strategies have been developed. It's almost like time has stopped. Gee, I wonder. All right, but we've got another, another one of these, the Knight's Tour 370. All right. Move this knight around the entire board, landing on each square only once. I'm gonna go once. And then I'm going to cut back when I'm finished with this, because these are just not interesting. Well, shit. All right, I'll be back. All right. Yeah, these are these are just very very boring to test my but that should be the last one hopefully ah, wonderful 41 35 pick a rats very nice that's quite the thinking happy i'm going to let you in our secret no one else in town will spill in a hundred years years back and for fame people in full sense just started dropping left and right like they're under some terrible spell no, they started dropping because they were old! Many fled the town once word of the illness got around. You've solved all my puzzles, and I'm tired. Alright, we're sitting at 134, very close to the end. Now we've got fake Luke. Duke. Ex exactly. What seems to be the matter, young man? Always stressing about something that happened a while ago. It's nothing, really. Guess it can't hurt. Got a palate as refined as an adult. Refined as an adult, you say? I think you want the, um, bitter fruit. There you are. That's good tea. I'm gonna give it to you. You know how to brew, mister. Stay away from paranormal stuff. Everyone's been freaked out. Yes, yes, we, we know, we know. All right, so that's the museum portion done. Now let's go down here. We've got her right there. And I know there's a guy down there and they are our last two. Okay, we finally made it. We've got Gertie. What do you want, Gertie? Well, pancakes are good for the soul. All that syrup just wreaks havoc on my complexion. Beauty, you say. I know what you want. You want... Radiance Blend. P packed with vitamins? Yes. Lovely. Oh, no, that was just wonderful. I think the best thing you can do for your skin is to stop fretting so much. I feel like I've suddenly aged a great deal. Somehow I just feel older. Um, yes. Yes. Alright. Pancakes. Time for more pancakes. Here we go. 
Mm-hmm. One pancake at a time can never rest on another smaller than itself. I'm getting there. I'm in most certainly getting there. I think so, at least. Okay, 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 hang, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, I've gotten... I've gotten the, uh, the biggest onto the right. So, I do believe that now I can, uh, just... Yeah, I can, uh... I can start to, to get it. Hopefully, if I'm not stupid. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. All right. Now things should be nice and simple. Simple and clean, you could even say. Ah, 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 ah. And shkleglink. This should do the trick. Ha ha. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Alright, 31 moves, I don't care. Wonderful, haha. <laughs> there you are. Now, let us go down this dark and dank alley. Cross the flooded street. To the seedy alley. And at the end of the seedy alley, we have our last man. Doogie. Hey, outsiders. I'm curious. What kind of place does folks said seem like to you? It's quite resplendent. Resplendent? I mean to say it's fancy. I'd agree with 
Now that the mines were shut down, we'll kiss the town's income source of my job. Goodbye. This town's dying. Wait, how, do you, would you would you like some tea? You want spicy? Zing to it. I like it fiery hot. Um. Would you like the Cayenne Twilight? It literally has Cayenne in the name, so... Okay. Uh, would you like the Cinder Flower? No. Okay. Fiery Hot. Would you like the Cherry Boost? There you are. Now that's good tea. Moon strong like a morning slab in the face. Tastes just like we were made in the mines. Okay, okay, okay doggy. Uh. Okay. And there we are. You are now a tea master. And the tea master's house has been opened. Does he have a puzzle? No, he does not. Oh, look, look, coming out the cup. Look at that, pretty cool. 26 out of 26. Perfect, so now, all the mini games are done. All we need to do in the main game now is just maybe like three puzzles. Was it 138 that the, the ending thing said? I'm going to go find those last few puzzles. All right, we have three more puzzles, and they're all on this uh, later half of the map. Ray's got another one for us. Since we came all the way here, why not try your hand at this puzzle I've got? 105, Disappearing Act 5. It's, it's another one of these. Oh, Lord. Look at this, look at this. Why are there so many? Oh. Why are there so many? This is gonna take forever. Okay. Uh... I definitely don't think this is right. Then I'm just, uh, I'm just going. I'm just going at this point. Hold. Hold. Maybe? Hmm. No. No, I don't think it's it. Damn it. Damn it. I almost had it first try. Uh. Oh, I've finally got it. God. This should do the trick. Yeah, this 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 that's just that's just ugh. It's just ugh. Okay. There's that. Two more. We've got one in the forest, and then one at the castle. So if we go back to the forest, uh, there's a, there's another there's another lamp on the on the ground. R really? Is it not? Is it not that lamp that's on the ground? No, it's that one. Okay. It's darker than ever here. A second lantern. Yeah, so we missed the second in this in this group. All right. These are simple though.
Okay, so I think that's just then... One here, one here. That should be it. Bagoinky. Hmm, let's see if this works. Perfect. Maiden's apprentice strikes again. All right. One more main puzzle. One more. Let's move ahead. So we gotta go all the way back to the castle. And now that we're back, we look at the painting. Take a look at this picture, Professor. There he is, larger than life, the current master of Herzen Castle. You mean the guy who just tried to tie us up and drink our blood? Strange. What's strange, Professor? This picture, it shows far too much wear to have been made recently. Yet you saw Anton yourself? The man and his portrait are virtually identical. If he doesn't age, he must really be a vampire. I knew it. We need to get out of here this instant. Perhaps those rumors in the town weren't entirely unfounded, but running about in a panic has never solved anything. I don't think we really have time for this right now. I don't think Old Man McGee is going to get you. Alright, last one. Two brothers have inherited their parents' five-piece art collection. According to the will, the older brother will get a set of paintings worth twice what the younger brother gets. In order to ascertain the value of the paintings, the brothers called in an appraiser who valued each painting as shown. For his services, the appraiser was promised the one painting left over after the brothers divided their art according to their parents' wishes. Assuming that individual paintings can't be divided, which one does the appraiser get? Okay. Twice what the younger brother gets, and then the appraiser gets one painting. Okay. So we got some math, we got some math. So if we add up all of these, we get 105, 125, 180, 185, 275,000? If I counted that correctly, I believe that's 275,000. Let me just, uh, let me just double check. You can never be too certain with these math things. Math is the bane of many, many a people's existence. Yeah, 275,000. So, 275,000 divided by five is 55. Now then, that's if the appraiser wasn't getting one. So, so then I have to do, hmm. How am I going to do this? Oh, I, I got it. I can do 275 minus one of these. So let's do minus 20,000. That's 255,000. And then let's divide that by four. No. So the appraiser does not get that one. Okay. So now it's just a matter of doing that for the rest of them. So 275 minus the 61, 215 divided by 4. No. Okay. So then let's do uh, minus 45. Might divide that by 4. And it, no. Okay. Minus 55. Divide that by 4. Uh, hmm. Okay. 
Okay. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Actually, I may I may have got it. I think it's this one. This should do the trick. Okay, I did it right. And there we have it. And there we have it. That's right, the appraiser receives painting E. The older brother inherits paintings A, C, and D, which are worth 120. The little brother gets a single worth 60. In the end, the appraiser takes home the most expensive painting of all. My, isn't that most convenient? <laughs> it looks like you've solved every puzzle in the story mode of this game. Congratulations! More fun things to do? Check out the, the bonus. Yes. Thank you, game. Nicely answered, Luke. All right, there we are. Every puzzle done, every mini game done. All that's left is to leave here and start the bonuses. At, uh, oh, and look, now instead of a golden Layton, it's a golden Luke because we solved all the puzzles. <laughs> All right, well, let me go ahead and uh, go to the title screen. All righty. Main game stuff done. So now all that's left is in this bonuses tab. So we go in here. And early on, we already finished the weekly puzzles, so you don't have to worry about that. Those are already done. Only things left are Layton's Challenges. And uh, we got Profiles, Art, Music, Voice, and then the last one. And we still have this other hidden door, but that, that won't be for a while. So, Layton's Challenges. We've got the Musician's House, the Tea Master's House, the Animal Lover's House, the Sweetheart's House, and then this one, which we get from completing the others. Okay, so I think it seems to me there's probably one more episode. Probably. We'll see. But I will end it here. I've been Player One, and I'll see you next time when we look at these, you know, bonus, bonus puzzles. You know, same as the last game, but some of these, some of these can get really hard, so let's see. Alright. Bye-bye.